I wish you health, fellow Ukrainians. A report on the day. I held a meeting of the staff. Several key points. The first is the actual situation at the front, our offensive and defensive operations. Important reports on the east and south, on the destruction of logistics and headquarters of the occupiers. There are good details, loud details. I thank all the Ukrainian warriors who distinguished themselves. The second issue is the supply of shells. This is a topic we are dealing with on a daily basis. Supplies from partners. Searching for new opportunities in the world, we know exactly how to secure supplies. And we are gradually increasing the volume of Ukrainian production. This is one of our top priorities. Today, by the way, in addition to the reports at the meeting of the staff, there was a separate meeting with the Ministry of Strategic Industries. There was also a separate informative intelligence report on the situation in the Russian military-industrial complex. We clearly see the areas where pressure on Russia needs to be increased so that terrorist capabilities do not grow. Sanctions are not enough. There will be more. There will be more of our own Ukrainian actions against the terrorist state. As long as Russia's aggression continues, Russia's losses must be tangible. And of course, our work with partners to end the war on Ukrainian terms based on our peace formula. A totally fair one. Today I met with the president of the National Council of Austria, who was on a visit to Ukraine. We discussed in detail our efforts to get the world majority to join the implementation of the peace formula. And I appreciate Austria's willingness to join in. Of course, we also discussed our European course. I spoke about Ukraine's implementation of seven recommendations of the European Commission. And we rely on Austria's continued support for Ukraine's European integration. One more thing. Every day, Russian terrorists hit our cities and villages with missiles and shods. Almost every night, dozens of drones and various types of missiles are destroyed in the Ukrainian sky. Unfortunately, there are hits. There is also falling debris. And our rescuers, our police, doctors, volunteers, utilities, all emergency services, are always working 24 7 to help people and save our infrastructure. Today, I want to thank these people who have distinguished themselves over the past weeks. In Odessa region, Poltava region, Cherkasy region. Employees of the State Emergency Service of Odessa region, Chief Master Sergeant Oleksiy Jaboryuk, Sergeant Serhi Chobu, Sergeant Oleksandr Vilyev. Odessa police officers, Colonel Vyacheslav Barba and Major Mikola Perekrestov. Firefighters of the Odessa branch of the Ukrainian Seaports Authority, Senior Firefighter Hennedy Maestrenko and Firefighter Andriy Kohut. Thank you all guys for your work. State Emergency Service of Ukraine in Poltava region, Sergeants Yevon Bilokobilsky and Volodymyr Smyk, Captain Serhi Kirichenko, thank you. Police of Poltava Region, Senior Lieutenant Anton Triholov and Captain Ola Nikisha. Ksenia Kushko, a doctor at the Poltava Regional Center for Emergency Medical Care and Disaster Medicine. Felcher Ihor Hevelia. Poltava Volunteers, Tetiana Shakovseva and Ihor Stefan. Thank you for your courage. Cherkasy. Morning of September 20th, a strike on the city, on the Cherkasy Hotel. Employees of the State Emergency Service of Ukraine in Cherkasy region, Lieutenant Colonel Dmitro Mokienko, Chief Master Sergeant Mikola Olinik, Sergeant Andriy Kutsevol. Cherkasy Police, Lieutenant Colonel Volodymyr Brelaka, Senior Lieutenant Vadim Rubin. Thank you, guys. Cherkasy Regional Organization of the Ukrainian Red Cross Society, head of the organization, Yulia Kolodna. Thank you for your help. Paramedic Oleksandra Exarko, thank you. Cherkasy Utility Workers, Mikhailo Vasiliev and Dmitro Zadorozhny, thank you. I thank everyone who works tirelessly for people. Those who do their job, which helps the entire state to do its job.
Glory to everyone who adds to Ukraine's power. Glory to all who fight. Glory to Ukraine.